Hey Cancer, I hope you're well. Let's look into your messages for the week of 10th until the 17th of June. Messages for Cancerians. Okay. Five of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. This is a major transition here. Um, five of Wands could be about conflict, drama, conflict outside, a group of people going through this or having this, and then um, on the inside, it can be conflict of ideas, energetic conflict. Five of Pentacles is the lack, and then there is the abundance mindset. So this is about reciprocity, give and take. <laughs> this Nine of Pentacles, they have so much more in store than they give to the outside okay so i feel like you have moved from something that was of lack and you've moved into a place of abundance so there may be something about this past energies coming up this week okay so let's get more five of wands king of wands so this is about reclamation okay so it feels like you're reclaiming your power from this. You're calling back your power. Uh, you're calling back your energy. The King of Wands could also be a fire sign. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. It could also be someone who is fiery. The King of Wands on the other side, like on the shadow side, can be a selfish person. Someone who has learned to cope in the midst of conflict and they've learned to be avoidant. Uh, they've learned to care all about themselves you know they've been all about themselves so you can apply that the way it resonates now the king of wands with that one wand and then the five wands makes up six wands so whatever this is is like it's either you you're coming to a major recognition uh or a major victory from something that was catastrophic or that wanted wanted to cause catastrophe um or this person is reclaiming their power from this situation. Or they're getting to recognize something or an environment they're in or a group of people they are with. Okay? Queen of Cups. So this is Cancer Pisces, Scorpio Energy, Intuition. It feels like this may be your energy, Cancer. There could be someone on the outside, yes. I feel like this is also you who is going with your intuition. It's like the Queen of Cups, even their body language is that of looking downwards. So there could be something here that is about resistance. So something that may want to cause one to, to have their say or to defend themselves. And the Queen of Cups can come in to help you to connect with your emotions and release that resistance in order to keep being in this place. So that is the strongest energy that I'm getting. Okay, This may even be happening as at this time where you are releasing resistance. There's a lot of emphasis on resistance this week. Um, yeah, it's like there's an energy, a crazy energy going around that just wants to bring the chosen ones back and cancerians i'm i've been talking about the collective in your readings recently perhaps it's because you are the fourth house so there's a lot of transformation going on in the home area the community the heart area a lot of transformation in that area five of pentacles Queen of Pentacles plus Five of Pentacles is Six Pentacles. So it feels like you're staying grounded with this in this transition. I'm also hearing that you are prepared and you've been working towards this. So while it may feel destabilizing, it may feel like confusing. I'm not getting so much of confusion, more of destabilization or ungrounding. Um, you are staying grounded. You're being guided to stand your ground. Judgment. This is a major breakthrough that is happening. There could be a major awakening coming up as well. Um, this is also judgment that is going on 
with re with regards to Pluto retrograde. So it's all about again that shift in power positions in the home area, especially. Um, now these people are going through a major judgment, and it's so important that at this time you ground yourself. Yeah, keep grounding yourself. The Queen of Pentacles is connected to the root chakra. So there could be something to do with family of origin. Okay, it does add up. Uh, family of origin issues. The Queen of Cups is emotions or the lack of it thereof. So these two queens are all about feminine healing, divine feminine healing. King of Wands is more of divine feminine healing as well, to some capacity, because it's fire and water. Okay, so there is a, a warfare. <laughs> There's a warfare here, and you're being guided to stay grounded. If you feel guided to do anything that comes with bodily movement or even just getting a rest, just do it. Yeah, okay. And as I said, getting a rest, I, I heard more of arrest. So there could be something about an arrest. Ten of pentacles. Nine of pentacles and ten of pentacles is 19, the number of the sun. 19 plus 5, 24... Adding up to six pentacles once again. There's someone here or... I'm getting an arrest. So this could be a physical arrest or this could be a spiritual one. Whatever judgment is happening is arresting a group of people. It's about arrest, like taking someone. A knight of wands. It's a fiery energy. It's very fast. Seven of wands. Protected. So you may find yourself protecting yourself or needing to. I'm getting rather than protection in the form of defense. It's saying that you're being in this grounded state, embodying, this is about like this embodied state. This state that you are in is what is protecting you. All you need to do is ground yourself because you are protected. So it shows that there's definitely something going down. Okay, so let's get more. Wheel of Fortune, the wheels turning, 1010, you could be seeing 1010, 1919, pointing towards your new beginnings, 5-5 five, five as well, and look, the judgment card is 1010, 8 of swords, so this is what it feels like, that resistance, feeling caught up in the mind space, feeling like like you you see the eight of swords is a very vast it carries a vast energy and a story as well of generational yeah i'm getting something about a generational curse a heavy curse has been lifted okay a curse that may have put one in this bind it's been lifted so I believe this week is all about your reclamation. See where you are sitting. It doesn't mean there is no warfare. <laughs> but yeah, you have reclaimed your power from something major. In fact, you were chosen for this. You were chosen as this curse breaker. And everything is secured for you. Right now, there is warfare, <laughs> okay? There is warfare that is like... And this will carry on for some time until maybe the end of 
October thereabout. I see four of swords, eight of wands, the empress and ace of swords. They flew right out. Um, so this is grounding. The eight of wands is some fast movement. The empress is a mother figure, abundance, and ace of swords is clarity and breakthrough. Hmm. So here you are sitting in your abundance. And you see the four of swords is someone who is who has gone in. Okay, what is happening? Let's get more about the situation. Queen of Swords. So this is speaking truth. So you could be speaking your truth about something or going with your truth. Perhaps this is what is triggering something. Okay, this group of people could be that. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Your truth is calling in what is solid. Your truth is calling in solid new beginnings here. The wheels turning in your favor. Like, yeah, I'm getting to allow the divine to do their work. Arrest those who need to be arrested. And you just keep going with your truth. You could be picking up on their energies, but then here you are. Four of Wands. So this is cause for celebration. This is a major milestone on your journey. And you've come to, wow, this is like another timeline shift for you. Considering some of you are in need of major protection and you're getting exactly that. There could be an offer coming in as well. The Four of Wands could be a structure, a home, could be a workplace as well. The Star, Aquarius Energy, so this is about embodiment. Okay, keep staying grounded, keep being in your balance. What you're guided to do in terms of everything that helps you to stay in flow. Diet, bodily movements, uh, yeah, breath work and body, everything that helps you to care for yourself. Two of Cups. Ace of Swords is here once again. Okay, this is truth and clarity. This is breakthroughs. Breakthroughs upon breakthroughs. Ace of Cups. New beginnings. Ten of Wands. Okay, this is taking your harvest home. There's nothing in your way and you get to take your harvest home. Yes, there is still heaviness. Alright, um, and one step at a time with this. I see Queen of Wands, so this is about confidence, magnetism. There could be a Leo Sag Aries as well in the picture. There could be a mother figure or mother figures. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative. 
Hey Cancerians, it's amazing how this is the third time I'm recording this message. So I'm going to carry on from where we stopped. So we have courage and denial and I'm, I'm about to get a card from this deck. Acceptance. Okay, so this is about just that wholesomeness. Okay, wholesomeness within and going towards your destiny, what you're destined for, your purpose with the star energy. So anything that may feel confusing or you feel it inside, like the need to, or a kind of an energy that may feel conflicting, you're being guided to slow down and connect with your emotions okay don't fight it because it will only increase resistance you're being guided at this time to to release resistance because this is a major topic at this time there's a portal that needs to be crossed it's happening and it's going to happen nothing is going to stop it Okay, this is a level up, <laughs> a level up in every which way possible. And it's happening. Welcome to the light. Welcome to the sunshine. Angels and ancestors. Spring. See your seeds grow. There we go. Whoever these are, they definitely have got issues with you speaking your truth, Cancerians. They, they're not happy with that. But then it, it's like what they're trying to do is to go through that portal looking for a way in. So while they are not happy, they also want to go through that portal with you. But then there is... There's limited access. So anything to help you to build up resistance, they will do in order to make you to, to stay back. All right. So if they can't pull, if they can't stop you from speaking your truth, what they will try to do is to make you heavy. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. You need to remind yourself that part of the challenge of being a soul is learning to honor your own power. By listening to your inner voice and following its advice, you are acknowledging the perfection of your own intuition. Fear is only an illusion, and obstacles are great opportunities for you to demonstrate that coming from a place of love will conquer all of fear's disguises. Perhaps you are changing career paths or entering or exiting a relationship. This test has been put before you because it is an opportunity to prove to yourself that you, and only you, can make the correct decision. By not taking that step forward, you may find yourself two steps back only to face that same obstacle once again. Uh, so yeah, um, this is basically the explanation that came a bit earlier. Acceptance. This is root chakra energy. It's your life force. A heavy curse has been broken. Cancerians, so congratulations. You're going to be having strength from nowhere to keep going. Innocence and an ability to see one's gifts are indicated, as well as the protection of spirit guides, good luck, and an increase in self esteem and confidence. What appears to be an end may not be one after all. Interesting. I'm reading Renewal once again. What appears to be an end may not be one after all. This may turn into a remarkable opportunity. Trust that whatever is coming is better than what you have known to this point.
Inspiration. A magical box of self-acceptance appears before you. Your unique qualities reside within. Open it. Our thing's simple now. Cherry Heart invites you to see yourself as complete, just as you are. New ways of seeing yourself. Embracing imperfection. Feeling incomplete. Selling yourself short. Okay, there is manifesting, knowledge and luck as keywords. Spring. Embrace the change that is on the horizon. Allow your dreams to become reality. You are ready to bring to life all of your ideas, inspirations and projects. When this card appears, you are moving into a space that allows you to really grow, expand and create in a way you've never done before. There are opportunities for abundance, including financial growth. And if you're starting something new, prepare for a major expansion in your life and soul. When the spring card arrives in the future position of a spread or as the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming spring, which we are in right now, will usher, the in, will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions. Right, Cancerians, um, I wish you a blessed week and I'll come back with more videos. Take care and much love. Bye-bye.